if the bridge is a lie, then I don't think it matters what planet I'm on. The reason I was on that planet was because there's a bridge. <laughs> I think that might be irrelevant. But I don't think it matters what planet we're on. It says that we have, like, I'm going to do the rest of the journey on foot. I don't think it matters what planet we're on. I have regrets, Feisty. <laughs> How are you doing today? I don't think it matters which planet we're orbiting. I thought it did because I thought that bridge was important. If the bridge isn't important, then... I don't think it matters. So... Oh no, McDuff, it's okay. I haven't made much progress. <laughs> so we're going to... Try to find wherever it is. In fact, I'd like it if it wasn't on Ember Twin for a while, because I'd really like to not have to do that again. <laughs> Where is it? Is it orbiting this planet? There it is. We'll do this one. Let's see. We've got 278 or 303. 303. <laughs> Okay, so, all right, so in theory, it doesn't matter then. You have cereal, yay! So the only thought I had was it doesn't matter which planet it's orbiting because if the bridge isn't important, then it doesn't matter. In which case, I'll try here. This happens to be where it is. One thing we know... Oh, that's really cool. One thing we know is true... Is, oh, I'm already wearing my suit. Is that... Each time it moves... The body... Every time, like, quantum stuff moves. So I guess if the tower moves. The body has changed position. So I'm wondering... And also the bridge and my ship. So things are weird, right? So what if, right, there's the tower. Where's the tower in relation to the pole? Oh God, it's gone. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so here it is. Okay, well, hang on. Let me get inside. Can I, I don't think I need to take a picture of the outside, right? Can I? Oh, I don't need that on. I need it off. Things are weird. It's a better title for this game. Well, my ship's gone. I really should pay attention to that. Where are we? Oh, no. I don't like this place. I don't like this place. Pack this place. Pack this place. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? All right, now I, uh, okay. I don't think we can go north on this planet. Once we get to the North Pole, there's the... Yeah, see the doodahs here. And we can't get in because that's spinning clockwise, which means it's pushing you out. I don't think we can do that. Um, oh, hello. Can we teleport to a different planet, please? I don't feel like this is... I need to find somewhere where I can walk. So if the bridge isn't important, something else must have a pathway. Are these timber hard? Oh, I don't like this place. We're pretty far north here. I'm not sure if that matters, but we are pretty far north. I wonder if I can go this way. Hold on. Not what I meant, but sure. That'll do the job. I'm guessing if the bridge is not anything, then this is not going to be anything either. I seem to be hitting a roof. Yeah, okay, so this puts me back at the side wall. Alright, uh, oh, my ship is 8.1 kilometers away. Oh, ow, I almost broke my ankles. That would have sucked. Okay. Okay, um. We were way closer to the North Pole this time. I don't know if that's relevant. Hello? 
I would like to find a a a shrine, perhaps. Hey Silas, yes, I'm doing a lot of thinking. I am so sorry, because that is pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. I wonder if it will be closer to the North Pole. Because that's where we were. We were like really high up here. Maybe this one will be closer as well. But why? I don't think I can get in on this planet. I think I need another... I'm just going to keep spinning every now and then in case it appears. <laughs> I think I need another planet that has... I don't know. Hello! Oh, oh my god, why did that make Some me jump? elite update looks weird. Where are my Thargoids at? Where are my Thargoids at? <laughs> yeah, no, thank you for the biddies. That made me jump quite a bit. We're really close to the North Pole here, but I still can't seem to get in. Can I have a... Can I have a Quantum Shrine, please? I don't want that. I want a Quantum Shrine. Please, I don't ask for much in my life. A Quantum Shrine would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you for the biddies. Yeah. Life is strange. No, wait, that's taken. <laughs> Right, well, we've now circumnavigated. I feel like maybe I need to be further south. Where the hell's the shrine? I need to get off this godforsaken planet. There's a shuffle. Maybe if I just keep spinning, I'll eventually see it. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be working so far. Where the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Alright. Invite only party? Wait, what party? Oh, we're not ready for this yet, I don't think. Nope. Definitely not. Okay. Close now. Okay. Quantum shenanigans, I'm telling you. Wait. Wait. Is there a wall there? <gasps> Is there a wall? Shrine needs to be here. Like right here. So hang on. <laughs> okay. I hope this worked. Not sure if smart or just lucky. Quantum mechanics. It's a quantum object. Okay. We're on the quantum moon. Oh, heck. Thanks, Alk. I think that was mostly luck. <laughs> that was mostly luck. <laughs> That's like the third or fourth time I've solved a puzzle by pure luck. Not even ashamed. Smart enough to make your own Okay, can we <laughs> smart enough to make your own look? I have to tell you something T said that was so stupid last night. <laughs> it was like, you know, super late. I'd half fallen in the sleep. And T went, How does staying awake or how does staying up or how does staying awake cause you to make your own luck? And I went, What? And he said, how does staying awake make you make your make make your own luck? And I went, what? And then I stopped and I went, are you freaking singing that stupid song? We're up all night to get lucky. And he went, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go to sleep. <laughs> That's not what it means. <laughs> I was so, 
Oh. I was so pissed. What is this? Okay, I don't know if this is important. I'm taking a picture. Oh my god, is he alive? <gasps> right, hang on. One second. I need to check that my... Okay, it pauses in conversations. <gasps> so innocent. <laughs> you sure you weren't dreaming? No, because I told him I was going to tweet it. <laughs> it's Salonim! Who are you? I don't understand. I don't understand. Pick up me stone, quantum moonstone, I have the universe stone, and the U stone. Imagine me and you. I do. I think about you every night. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you don't. You won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Oh. Actually, put that stone there. God. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Many in my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey is going to end. I am Salanim, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. This I'll explain. Oh wait, hang on. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. This is the quantum moon, where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. <laughs> there is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. This quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious of this observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Explain you! I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai and my clan make this journey when we come of age. 
Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us near nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to the, be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection in the uh, of the eye in the sky above us. It's really disturbing. Um, explain me! Explain me! <laughs> I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Can I uh, tell you how I got here? Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? I don't know! What about if I combine these two? Imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting giant steep than it does when orbiting the hourglass twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it's conscious, it is consciously observed. What would happen if the, a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Are you telling me to enter the eye? I feel like that's a terrible idea. I don't know what to do. Oh. Are there more combinations there that I need to do? I don't think I should go in there. <laughs> I don't think I should go in there. I feel like if I try to go in there, it's not going to go the way I think it will. Is that a question for me? Yes. Mostly because my memory is terrible and I don't know if I did all the combinations. I believe I finally made it here. Oh my god. All of them work. I think I got all the combos, but I might not have. Hi, Jabba Bab, 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 Bab. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yeah, okay, sorry. My mom sent me a message. It's fine. I think she sent it while I was at the bathroom. <sighs> I didn't do the orange tiles combined. That's a good point, but I'm not sure if that actually will do anything because I'm I'm identifying and explaining in the same breath. But I did do them with everything else. Oh, did you get there? Um, lock? <laughs> These are the two tenets of know my philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Turned your phone on again by mistake. I don't know what to do. Hmm. This just kind of walks around. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't think going in there is a good idea. But I kind of want to. Dev, am I going to break anything if I try to jump through that hole? You don't have to tell me if it's possible or not. Just, am I going to break anything if I jump through that hole? Like, I'm not going to miraculously break the game and have it go game over, right? What's the worst that could happen? Sun goes supernova? Okay, so I could jump through, well, I could try to jump through that hole. All right. Whoa! Oh, it put me... Somewhere else. Probably should have kept a picture of the thing. Okay. Don't know if that was actually relevant. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> when is something being a bad idea stopped you? Oh. 
Oh, so accurate. <laughs> Basically, uh, the way I got there was I uh, teleported the quantum moon to a different location. And then when I arrived at the different location, the, uh, the shrine was further north each time. At least I think it was further north each time. It only did it twice, I think. Until eventually I appeared to be beyond the wall. Let's have a look at what we've discovered and see if there's like a you should have done more here in which case we have to go again but that's okay there's not more to explore i think this is it then i'm at a living no my name's Solana. i'm at the south pole hmm? i just unplugged my headphones let's pull them all the way out <sighs> Quantum Moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all microscopic quantum phenomena at the sol in the solar system. Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Solanum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. Okay, next up, we're going back here. Okay. Sev. Yes, please feel free to explain how it worked. Also, question, just so that I know, I'm not, if I do this now, I'm not going to miss anything else. I've done everything, right? This is, I can, I can do this now. I can go take the core and take it to the fishies. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for two hours of fishy shenanigans. Because <laughs> knowing how to solve this puzzle is not going to help me <laughs> at all. <laughs> hours sign me up we're gonna have a long stream today of me just trying desperately to get past the fishies okay so i've got all the major stuff cool so we're gonna do this it's ready i appreciate the fact that you thought i was gonna finish it quickly enough that i was gonna uh go to i was gonna do something else today you'll do it first try you believe i don't i don't believe I appreciate you. I am going far too fast. Wait, hang on. So now we just get to chill for a little while. So stay. While we wait for this to happen. You had faith. It was foolish. Maybe I shouldn't have started with just chatting today. Maybe I should have gone straight to the game. Maybe that would have helped. Because we've been in game for about three hours. Right. Okay. I need to land on, well, close to the equator would be good. I still don't really know how this worked. Okay, I mean, we can just chill here for a little bit. Hang out. I promised a 12 hour dark ramble marathon. <laughs> okay, so what we are doing now is we're waiting for the uh, sand to go all the way around and expose the tower that takes us into the core. Once we get into the core, we're going to take the uh, warp core and then we're going to go to dark ramble. In theory, we're going to go to dark ramble with the warp core. And then we're going to... I'm curious. There is a tower here that goes to Dark Bramble. I wonder if it takes you to Basel. On a few of the planets, you can get to the northern hemisphere. Something blocked your way. On others, you could get to it, but you couldn't get to the north pole. You need to get the shrine to the north pole. So take the moon to a planet where you can get to the northern hemisphere. Then go to the northern hemisphere. Get inside the shrine there. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Timber hearth works for the last moon. Location two, the top half is totally flat. Okay. Right. I mean, that makes sense. I, it felt like the shrine was just moving kind of like this, but I only had to move twice. Okay, so we, I don't know. I'm actually going to pop out now and see if we're 
any closer. Very aesthetically pleasing word vomit. <laughs> um, so the other thing then is ooh, which one of the towers is this is this is not a spoiler because I've done it before but rather than having me run around the equator 65 million times trying to figure out which one's which could somebody please remind me which of the towers is the one that goes to dark ramble is there one I assume there's one Although maybe not, actually. Maybe not, because it doesn't have surface anymore. None go to Dark Ramble. In other words, I have to go through the fishies again. Okay. <laughs> As this is Twins, I think once you get in the north, I think it went. You went Deeps, Twins, Quantum. I think I went Deeps. Deeps, Dark Ramble. And then Brittle Hollow. Go through the fishies again. Dang it! Fucking fishies! I have to go through the fishies again! I hit them! They're my least favorite part of this game! Although, you know what? That's cool. We can draw this out very long now because I'm gonna be stuck at this point for the next, like, three years. <laughs> I hate the fishy! Are we gonna need an anglerfish emote? <sighs> We're gonna get the this emote, by the way. The this emote will be done probably tomorrow. So by tomorrow's stream, we should have a this emote ready. I'm thinking we'll replace the, um the bit with or the one with the 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 metal horns like the just the, the just the skeleton one since we have the hype emote now so i think we'll get rid of the metal horns if everyone's okay with that unless there's another emote that people don't think we should use anymore. absolutely willing to take suggestions on that but i think that this emote would be very important we can also re-upload whichever one it is once we have more emote slots if we get more emote slots so it's up to you guys definitely up to you guys okay this is the one okay so i just need the teleporter to be revealed don't tell Twitch to app off and give more emote slots. I mean, I already have a few emote slots. It's just that, so my next emote slot's at 900 sub points, which is very far away. And they're every 100 until 1,000? And then they're every 200, I think? I'm suddenly very hungry. You think this will get a lot more use? I think so too. What about the Reaper? Reaper is also possible. I don't think, because I don't play, uh overwatch really anymore i'm not sure that it's super useful so that's not a bad idea what would you guys rather keep the reaper or the metal horns <laughs> yeet hey Luca, hi thank you for the raid how are you use the metal horns more than reaper. Okay. you'd rather keep metal horns yeah, we can get rid of Reaper. We'll get rid of Reaper. Oh, can we go yet? Oh, we can totally go. Right, okay. I don't really know how this works, but it does feel like I have to be here and then I have to run. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Luca, how are you? Can we get a shout out for Luca, please? Thank you, Dark Man. Okay, I don't really know how this works, but... Oh, no, Luca. Go, 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 go. I might have been too slow. Oh no, okay, we did it. Okay. Okay. We did it. Does anyone even use Yeah, but it's a bit emote, and I want the this emote to be available for everybody. Boopy corn is the bit emote. So proud. Thank you. I still don't really understand why that works that way. It seemed to be mostly a an accident. Okay. okay. This. 
I hate finishing a game though, Ruka. Ah! <laughs> Where'd the ball go? Oh, it's here. Oh, this is so difficult. <laughs> Okay. Hope we're ready. Can I go that way? Can I use this? Asking for myself. Oh, wait, wait, oh. Okay, I have it. Okay, I need to take this. Okay. Okay. And Noni Moose, thank you for giving us up to Luca. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Luca, welcome back. Oh my god, the music! I really don't know if I'm doing this right. Do I have somewhere I can put this? <laughs> can I just put it in my pocket? I don't know. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Hold on. The music! You can do it. Can I, though? Is that a singularity in a glass container? It is! <laughs> I'm going to turn myself up a little bit because I feel like the music is probably getting very, very loud. I, uh, bumped into the thing. Is that actually the vessel there? No, that goes through the thing, right? Question. Actual question, Seth? That one on the left is the one that goes to the little tiny seed, right? Elk, I hope you have a wonderful day. Really, Pilferk? I have to go through this. I'm going to fail, guys. <laughs> I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. <laughs> have faith. I don't. I have none. I have zero faith. Absolutely no faith. Oh, I'm not, I'm gonna bump into his head. I'm gonna bump into his head. <gasps> oh my God. 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 Oh no. Oh, I hit everything about it. Oh, all the bum fear. I think we need a bum fear emote too. Oh my god, can I get some colo first tries? panic
<laughs> okay. I'm gonna give a little tiny bit of goose. Goose? Juice. Not goose. No geese. bit more juice. There's another, there's another one over here. I want to make sure. No. Screw this up. Super close. This is fine. It's super close. And I think we're pretty, pretty smooth sailing. Time to read the extra text. So, gotta remember. Where's my picture? I drew this. I drew this. Where'd I put it? I drew, I drew this so I wouldn't have to look it up. Where is it? No, it's not there. Where did I put it? Oh, here. I got. I have it. I have the picture of the code. I still have the coordinates. <laughs> okay. This one looks kind of like a, a weird hourglassy type thing. And this one is like this. Do it right. Do I need to? Oh, I have to do this first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not ready. Not ready yet. I didn't do the thing first. <sighs> Gotta do this to engage it. Don't I? Or did I? Did I do that already? Did I do it wrong? Maybe I have to do it here. Stand by. Your hands were shaking too much? Yeah. Time to read these things, right? What did I do? I opened a black hole and it went somewhere. Oh, that looks cool. I read all that stuff. I didn't read this stuff. This is the stuff I missed. I think I have time now. 
Do any know my clans whose vassals hear this message? It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources in safe places. Right, we read this stuff. It was about halfway through. Gloaming Galaxy. If you want to continue alone, you will be alone. Good to hear from you, bro. We will watch for your vassal. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vassal, but they've never arrived and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of a skull. I remember hearing that story as a child. Bless you. A <laughs> skull's vassal simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. A skull's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that, that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hisog? It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for a skull's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vassal's ever disappeared this way. Isop, I hope you aren't comparing a skull story to my clan's vassal. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright star, bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll see you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vassals nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Okay, I'm wondering if that's how you open the door. Hold on. Did you just jump a fleet carrier? I think I already set the matrix. <laughs> Sev? Am I okay to go through that? I just don't want to break anything. <laughs> Hi, Fleather. How are you? Can I go through that? If I go through that, am I going to break it? I can't reset the thing anymore. Okay, back it. I mean, I don't have any more things to, to reset. Oh, we aren't in Kansas anymore. We aren't in Kansas anymore. Toss a coin. Toss a coin to you, Witcher. A valley of plenty. A valley of plenty. Oh. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Oh, this is super terrifying. This is terrifying. Oh, this is... Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Thanks, I hit it. Thanks, I hit it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> they did. You hear TIE Fighters? <laughs> Oh, this looks, this looks promising. This is where the probe went. I can fall into that. Title of your sex team. <laughs> what the heck?
Outer Wilds Ventures was founded by Feldspar, Goss, and Slate and Hornfels to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. The Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. It's me! I was able to reach the eye of the universe. Everything's very dark. Oh, wow. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Quantum shenanigans. Quantum shenanigans. Cosmic butthole. Hey, look. It's that little probe, probe bro. The Nomite came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we call ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. <laughs> There's where the gravity stone was. <laughs> Before I do that, these are all the same, I think. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I I think I need to sit down. Just minding its business, eating its dinner. <laughs> It's dinner was me, though. Damn, we tiny. Um, um, I appear to be in a very, um, what the heck? What the heck? My brain is broken. Mine too. I have no idea where I'm going. Welcome to the jungle. That was very well done. That's the only frequency I have. Ah yes, the infamous galaxy forest. <laughs> they all appear to be exploding. Staging. They all appear to be dying. They all appear to be dying. Where the fuck am I? Hello? Hello? A bit of the moon here. I don't know if I had signal nearby. Merlin! Hi, it's Psyche and the Brigade. Hi, Merlin. How is it possible to be here this long and still loving it? Hope <laughs> everything is good with the future house for you, Auntie. Thank you, Merlin. We still haven't got any more news, but thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Happy 16 months. You may be about to experience some feels. I have no idea. Thank you so much, though. Oh. Oh. It's me. I find myself. I located I have feelings, okay. <laughs> I 
Do you hear music? I'm a big baby. <laughs> I'm a giant baby. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, I ugly cry. <laughs> okay, I can't find him, Noi. Where is he? Right back. I'm walking into a wall. <laughs> Is he inside? How do I get in? <sighs> Can I go in this way? I'm sorry, guys. I feel like such a giant baby. You tell me to have tears in your eyes too. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know if I have to. I don't know if I should go back. Hmm. I do hear music, but it didn't. I don't know how to tag it. <laughs> Having the fate of the universe on your shoulders is a lot of pressure. How the fuck do I get in? Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! I can't get in! I don't know how to get into the building! I have too many tears in my eyes, I can't see! Maybe there's another one somewhere. Mm, no. Yeah, it just walks you back. <sighs> oh wait, is he at the campsite now? No, he's on the other side. Okay, the building's different now, so I don't know if that's relevant. I'm guessing I need to keep walking. <sighs> I am being a giant baby. <laughs> Look at how red my nose gets when I cry. <laughs> I really didn't expect to cry <laughs> at some stupid banjo music. Brad, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Banjo tears, big banjo tears. Oh, I get their instruments. That's me. You're watching this in your Raspberry Pi? Nice. It's um, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. Oh, they're all gonna play the music! <laughs> no rush, take your time. It might not even exist here. The quiet jade. Across old bark. And the ancient glade always dark.
I have a lot of feels right now. Merlin, see you later. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. That's why we have much love for you. What, because I cry? <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> oh my god. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, look, all of the jellyfish. <sighs> As you can see, it doesn't mean we're not suffering from the onions. I'm glad. But I ugly cry. <laughs> this is the only part of the game you've seen. Oh, wow, so you missed all of the other stuff? Penis killing me. Oh. Whoa. The heck? Sorry. Where? Why wouldn't it let me? Hey? So if I get over here. The piano is new. I think the piano might be related to the Nomai, but I might be wrong. <sighs> the ugly cry of a teddy bear. <laughs> No, that's what I mean, though. That means that you didn't see any of the other bits. I feel like I have to just keep walking this way. Eventually, it'll make sense. I could be wrong. I may have to interact with that thing in some way. In some way? In some way. <laughs> this is a bop. It is absolutely a bop. I'm really hungry. What fudge is this anyway? It looks like a. Oh. That it. That looks like a launcher. For my head again. Maybe it's a quantum thingy. No. Damn it. Thought maybe it was a quantum shenanigans moment. <laughs> looks like a telescope to you. I feel like it looks kinda like the the probe launcher. But I can't seem to interact with it. Unless maybe I'm just looking at the wrong place. Um, uh. It's my probe! A little sky dude! A little sky bro! Unless I can interact with it and I'm just at the wrong part. I don't think I can. I don't seem to be able to touch it. I don't think I can I don't think I can touch it. It's right there. The thing I need. Can't I can't interact with it at all. There's no way to interact with it.
It's so hard to see. Can I maybe zoom in? If I use this. Ah! Got it. <laughs> now we have to get the piano. I don't know. Do we need to get the piano? I think we need to get the piano. Ashling, you find me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. Hey, time hey time pal. So you're getting band back together, huh? Go on, find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. We've already spoken to him. The stars were beautiful, weren't they? Even if our stars but ultimately killed us. I'll wait here and remember them while you gather everybody. Oh, oh no. Hmm, this one's weird. Because it only plays when I'm away. Uh. If I get too close. So, let me see. Looking at the stars. That's not really what I meant, but okay. <laughs> what about if I get really close like this? No? Okay. What about if I keep walking? The piano is very pretty. Hey, Duster Buster, what's up? This one feels like it's going to end up being a weird one as well. So pretty. Despite the space hangers that got us along the way. They're all looking up. Maybe I can jump. No? No jumping, Elijah? Okay. Whoop. Okay, well, something to do with going up. Maybe I shoot my dude up. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh, I'm falling on my face. Oh, that's really sweet. Sorry, full focus mode, yeah. there. Eh. That's not how this works. Do I have to do something back here? To turn it on? I actually don't remember. You didn't know the space I was so good at piano me either. Got it. Got it. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? All right, Sev. Am I going to finish the game without? Like, is this okay? Can we go? And this, I'm not asking you to hold my hand. I'm asking you, am I, am I locking myself out of anything? Of course this game is that amazing, right? This is okay. The song is new to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it.
I'm such a baby. <laughs> I don't want to say who said this because I, I don't want to throw them under the bus because um, maybe they don't want everybody to know um, but someone sent me a message and said that whenever all the music played together as in like when you were finding it with the signal scope earlier not necessarily here that it reminded them that you're never alone <laughs> and I have a lot of feelings about that <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have such an ugly cry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You want to play your piano? Please do. <laughs> what did I walk into? I miss you, gorgeous. I miss you too, PNB. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Happy 13 months. Also, hi, the collector. Um, BNB, I haven't forgotten about your item, by the way. I haven't said that. I love you all. <laughs> so, my heart. <laughs> Thank you for experiencing this game with me. <laughs> Thank you so much for everybody who came by and watched it. And I'm sorry I'm such a mess, but I didn't expect it to affect me this much. <laughs> oh, Ishikon, thank you. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Work. <laughs> I'm choking on my own spit now. <laughs> this dude just said the VOD to the death. <laughs> if the devs ever see this, thank you. I know they won't, but thank you. <sighs> You're a sucker for this kind of thing. <laughs> Owen. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Asker. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Thank you, Gopher GD. Thank you all so much for experiencing this with me and allowing me to solve the puzzles on my own. I know I'm very stubborn about that, but it's important to me. And this is just such a lovely way for it to end. And I haven't even, I don't even know, maybe, maybe there's more. I don't know, but this is just beautiful. And no one's spoiled and I'm so impressed. <laughs> Thank you guys for being so quick on the exclamation mark blind as well. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Oh, and don't be mean.
Also, there's nothing to be ashamed of if you decide to Google something. But I'm glad I did. Can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? He hasn't even started yet. Oh, oh is he gonna whistle? What in the heck? You don't need to ram him into the fire. Why not? <laughs> How long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. You cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out all right in the end, I suppose. I hope there are beasties in the next one. I'll tell you what, this has been really fun and I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? I believe we reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes yet? Next? Not yet! I haven't spoken to Ryback! Tempting to linger in this moment while well, every possibility still exists, but unless they are collapsed by an observer, they will never be more than possibilities. It's fine. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is past now, but that's... You know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's um time for something new now. Even if it's overnight, I had a good time learning, but I think the rules are about to change. Yeah, I'm ready. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. What happens now? Can you do anything? Do I have to jump in? Oh, it's your cone. If in doubt, always eat a marshmallow. Okay, well then I guess I jump. Whoa. <laughs> Shut up, I didn't mean to use that command. <laughs> hey, kaboom. universe you must be so proud thanks if there's no music in this universe i will cry <laughs> i'm gonna cry again <laughs> What a beautiful game. We're watching the credits for this. Hi, <laughs> Glokey. You're gonna go cut actual onions, so there's no evidence. No clip doc about the making, etc. Oh, I will definitely watch that. Thank you, Fraggle. That was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed that game. And I'm so glad. Oh, really? That was Hero? Oh my god. Wait, you mean... As in... Wait, was he Yata? <laughs> I am so glad I got to experience this with all of you. Thank you. I agree, Pilferk. I feel like this one's going to be really hard to top. 
and I'm so glad. Zav and Elk, thank you so much for the recommendation. Both of them said that they thought I should play it, and I immediately had to. And it's mostly Zav's fault. <laughs> Struck me at the end there that what you and the other explorers did could be construed as the literal music of the spheres, the old concept about the mathematical beauty of movements of planets just literally express the music. That's a really beautiful thought, Raven. And then I burped. <laughs> Do you? Yes. Not really. Close though. And I will show you how terribly my makeup has run all over my face when I come out later. <laughs> What's the place I'm like? Uh, I think I did about 20 ish hours, maybe. I'm so glad you were here for it, McDuff. So wait, didn't I make a couple of jokes about save the, uh, save the universe, save the, save the cheerleader, save the world and stuff in this <laughs> without realizing? <laughs> didn't I do that at least once or twice or did I just think it in my head? Sad stripper to, I don't know if you can see, but. <laughs> I did, right? <laughs> Without even realizing, oh my god, I'm such a dumbass. I didn't know. That's really funny. Just showing that everything is tied together, hey? Where's our psyche crying red nose emote? I might have to get one of those. This was so good. That's the Twilight didn't win any Oscars face. <laughs> oh, man. So quiet. Save the band nerds. <laughs> I am not tempted to exit at all. I will wait. I will wait. In the end, the old universe died, and you helped shape a new one with the help of the memories of your friends. Clipter, why would you do this to me? <laughs> <sighs> Yuna, I hope to hear you play violin sometime. I haven't, Owen. They really earned the credit roll, absolutely. <sighs> save the banjo, save the world. Harmless, I love it. Maybe the real universe was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Super Sharp has all the feels. I love feels games. Oh, really? You know, that's awesome. I really hope they make another game like this. <laughs> because if you buy this, though, you know the ending. But there's a lot of puzzles that are super worth trying to solve. Dark slot, Seth is our. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. I would like to put this on YouTube. By the way, there's your boop. I would like to put this on YouTube, but I need to cut down a little bit, I think. I'm not really sure how to do that. I don't know how long each video should be. I'm not going to cut anything out, though. Super short, but has all the feels of Psyche in a nutshell. Ah, I feel called out. Thank you for playing Outer Wilds. Thank you for giving me this game. <laughs> Pretend I didn't get eaten quite so much. I might speed through that, but I'll still keep it in. 14.3 billion years later. I'm gonna get my controller just in case. That's really pretty. That's so pretty. That's like desktop background pretty. They're roasting marshmallows! <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much. This was a beautiful game. 
And I will put it on YouTube. I'll also be highlighting it so that it stays on Twitch forever, but I will put it on YouTube as well if anyone wants to watch the full playthrough. Best playthrough ever. I'm so glad you think so. I really enjoyed this. Like, ridiculously. Oh my goodness. <sighs> there are some alternate bad endings if you want some hints to find them. Wait. In this, you could get a bad ending? How do you get a bad ending? you would not have found Solanum, she wouldn't be there at the end. Also, those creatures in the universe wouldn't be there either. <gasps> what? All right, guys. This was an absolutely beautiful stream and a very lovely game to play through. Thank you so much. What if we jump into the warp that the Ash Twin creates to send the data back 22 minutes? You mean the bit in inside? I don't know, actually. Um, I am going to finish here. <laughs> I am an absolute sap. I was supposed to be doing some writing this afternoon because I thought I was going to finish it early, but I did not. Anyway, thank you so much. And Sev, thank you for uh, suggesting it and for making sure I got it. Off to the couch with you. I'm going to go cry on my couch. <laughs>